Hello friends, I am um, out on a job site sitting in a cat dozer, although I don't know how to run a cat dozer. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> it belongs to my dirt guy. But anyway, we are breaking ground on a barn dominion project in uh, Coyle, Oklahoma. And uh, looking forward to getting this done. This is gonna be a beautiful uh, project. Uh, got some really neat features that I'll go over with you a little bit later. But we had some uh, problems with the site. We had a lot of clay, a whole lot of clay in the site, which is not good for foundations. So I called my structural engineer, asked him what we should do. So his recommendation was to excavate out at least 12 inches of, uh, of the clay. So we, we removed that and then we hauled in a whole lot of uh, <laughs> what we call select fill or engineered dirt. And so it's just a, it's the proper mix of sandy loam and, and uh, compacts in really good, very stable. So we had to cost us about a week due to weather also, we got a ton of rain. Um, but yeah, you don't want a lot of clay under your foundation, you could have real issues now. There's a lot of ways to design a foundation if it sits on bad material. Uh, you can use post-tension foundations, which use uh, uh, steel cables inside the foundation. Uh, those are pretty expensive. We're just gonna use piers. We're gonna do drill piers around the perimeter. Now that we got the, the middle of the foundation stabilized, we can just go back in with just a standard uh, sand fill. But we will put a lot of steel in the floor this particular client um, uh, is going to go with um, polished concrete, so should be really pretty. But um, so anyway, I just want to give y'all an update. If y'all uh, are building in Oklahoma or think about building a barn dominion, that's what we do. We're primarily designers. I was a general contractor for 30 years, and um, we have a great team of labor. Um, been super blessed. We have we have a deep bench. I got like two of everything, <laughs> and uh, we got great building guys that can put up wood post frame buildings, steel buildings. I had uh, great concrete people, sheetrock, you name it. All the mechanical trades. <clears throat> we spray foam most of our buildings. I don't do conventional insulation anymore. It just spray foam is more expensive, but the the return you get on your investment is is just amazing i mean this stuff these buildings are so tight and so efficient when you spray foam them it just it's really really tremendous gives you tiny little energy bills <laughs> so all right well bless you guys shalom my friend and pay for the pray for the peace of jerusalem i want to remind you that uh, god promised abraham i will bless those that bless you in Israel, the Jews are the seed of Abraham, and as a Christian and a believer, we are grafted into that vine, and Israel is the vine. Jesus grafted us in as Gentiles, and we're privileged to be part of Israel and continue to pray for their peace and their success and their fight against evil, because that's what it is. It's a fight against evil. It's not an occupation. These people are fighting for their survival. This little sliver of ground the size of Rhode Island. It's amazing. But um, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.